right, I'm doing things a little bit differently this year, just slightly, and I'll explain that in just a second. This is what I'm putting down. I thought about going to 40, I think it's 46 or 48 percent. I think it's 46. I thought about it, but I said this worked great last year, this 30, 34. It worked fine. We're going to leave well enough alone. Last year, I did it twice. I in one in the year before that was twice, and what happened was it got me to rethinking this deal. Was well, last year was only like a week, week and a half in between nitrogen doses. I did it twice. The first time was cultivated it in there, and the second time I healed it and put it in there, laid it back. Well, this is what the road would normally look like. I'm at the plow feet point flat on the ground. And when you're done, it's got a nice heel here. And you don't see no fertilizer on the ground. And any little grass in between there, unless it's a really tall weed, it covers it right up. Covers it right up. There's a few peas that left in here that didn't even cover them up. But this side, I didn't have the displays set right over here. I had them too far apart. I'm gonna redo that row at the end but i reset them they said i like to have mine a little close we're gonna hand pick it uh, one picking off of this just one picking we're putting that 34 percent nitrogen all right i didn't do no setup video i said i can just do it all at one one time one go and end up with two short videos that's how i put it together all at once but that's what the finished product looks gonna look like and uh I'm going to do a couple of rows under the tractor in a minute. I say, hey, say uh, this had a little small grass shot. Well, I said, don't stress the grass too much. Because you got these healers set right, it'll cover that in. That nitrogen hits it. It'll burn out that little stuff. But it won't hurt that big, that bigger plant. I say, I could it could have been a little taller. A little taller. Normally, what I did last year, I would have dosed this in. I would have hit this with some with 34 percent and then the next week after the rain healed it and hit it with another dose but this corn this corn here to me it was coming along good it won't it didn't look like it was really starving too much so they had a good heavy cover crop on the cover crop puts nitrogen back in the soil in case you don't know but the setup is simple because the agri supply this healer urea gonna the urea Nitrogen is going to be solid white because it's, it's uh, all nitrogen. This hopper will hold 100 pounds, 250 pound bag. You saw it with 250 pound bag. Come out far, how far, how far, uh, sure how far two bags will go. As far as the rate, I'm not sure on the rate. Um, put my finger on the here. I tried this last year. I've been guessing at it. That's JC Weston formula. Put the finger under the gate in there and close the gate down on the finger. Well, his hop is the exact same as mine. I'm not sure on that either, but I used it last year. That was the best crops I've ever had. Agri supply deer sealers in the middle. You see how close I got them together? That's throwing that plant up, throwing that dirt to that plant. Even this little shorter plant, it didn't cover him up. But I'm not using a lot of feed either. They give you some heel on him, some heel on him on the plant. Throw some dirt to them, keep them getting blowed over. I might wait wait a week and maybe heal them one more time and open the open the disc healers up a little bit. Maybe a little bigger bigger mound. I'm gonna redo this row. But the keen scratches on the rear is what I got going on on the rear. Just the keen scratches. Give you a nice flat. I can't stay in a rock. I gotta pick up everyone to see. But um, this is this is two rows finished. They got a nice wide walking row in here. All the way up through there. Instead of this ain't breaking cramp. But um, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna video a couple rows and then uh, I'll probably run about a 12, 15 minute video.
that's pretty much the finished product i mean like i said that it knocks over a few of them here here and there it does you get a knock one here and there over them but for the most part it gets some good dirt around that plant get some good dirt around that plant i mean that's a lot of that's a lot of dirt being thrown to that plant compared to here it's flat on the ground and that's the reason i like to do it this way because any little grass in between there it'll cover it up for the most part i mean look at that pig weed get him out real nicely yeah and that's the one reason i like doing it that way like I said, it's flat on the ground here and all this little moss, morning glory, it, it, it covers all. I said, don't stretch the grass and weeds so much if you're going to use healers. Healers will take tear, tear, a rip it over, a whole lot of it out and cover a lot of it up. And that urea will burn out a lot of it too. I'm probably going to come back next week after this rain. I probably won't do them with this re -heal it. I'm going to open these healers up. So that corn could be a lot taller before I healed it. I mean, I still got a lot of distance to go there to get over it. I may, I may uh, come back in here next week and get it. I took my fast hitch off and got that out of the way. In case anybody's wondering, that's how that, I got this hooked up. It may not be correct, but that's how I got these. Put, put the pins back in. But, uh, anyhow, the wife's gonna do some videoing out here. Got a nice flat road. I said it could be opened up. But could probably open them up a little wider and get a little more speed to it. Have about the same effect. But I'm gonna leave me a little space for next week after this rain. This is real get to it, and I'll roll it again a little bit wider, maybe. See what it looks like. Anyhow, Jane Moore Farmall, thanks for watching. Healing, laying by, plowing, whatever you want to call it, corn. Got a lot of names for it. Healing, laying by, or plowing corn. Thanks for watching.